everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ingrid and I make hair accessories like the retro headbands red elastic scrunchies XL scrunchies and minis so tomorrow I have a market which I've been preparing for this week um, I've made a new range of fleecy minis so I've got different colours, I've got the colour on this one and then I've got them in excels as well which just all the colours on so they're really soft and squidgy, they're really cute I think I'm going to be displaying them on my um, new mug tree which I painted lilac so yeah, I painted this yesterday Lilac was just like a sample pop from B&Q. Um, yeah, so I've made the fleecy ones. I restocked on my Excel Leopards because I run out of those. Got some new BXLs. Restocked my Galaxy wide elastic ones. Now, I also had people ask for like more solid colours. So I've got these red ones and wide elastic. I'm also thinking about... Um, doing some more colours like na like navy maybe some green or black um yeah so hopefully that'll be good i've got some different designs in minis and the avocado ones which i have in excel and i've got them in bowls and wide elastic as well just not minis which they've been asking for as well so i thought i'd make some minis out of that restocked another Excel one and I've been making new headbands so I've been this one has been a really popular one this been selling selling quite well I also have it in pink um, but now I also got it in light blue which I think will do quite well as well it's a bit quirky but it's light blue um, light blue generally sells quite well and I also made it in a red polka doll with just a bit of a vintagey feel to it so I've been busy making those then I've been, re then I've been restocking my uh, wristlets so I sold the guinea pig one so I had to make another one got a haberdashery one a more purple ones yeah, so lots of designs, lots of different new designs to bring. Yeah, one market sometimes is the, the longer wristlets sell quite well, and other markets is just the, the scrunchy style that sells really well. Um, yeah, so I was running out of these ones, so I've been making some of that. So now I have to tag everything, like I put these little paper tags around and then put a little sticker, clear sticker on what it's made from and the same with the wristlets. Restocked, I restocked my hair clothes so I'll be bringing some new designs as well and yeah that's about it really so i'll be yeah labeling and tagging everything today I'm ready for tomorrow and then i'll pack everything up so normally most of my ball kind of just comes with me i like to have lots of extras with me in case i run out i can just re restock everything um yeah especially with the really good coronation market where i sold so much it was so nice to have like loads of extra stock left which i so it could replenish all the time so i always have loads of products out um which seems to work really well for me i've also been running out of beds so i've got a new box in so i'm using the coats um, moon thread so i have a new box of that it's really cute, had this little cutter. But cut. So I just buy them in big boxes like this, the whites. 
she ran through them so quickly. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I ran out of staples, so I'm just going to insert some more. So I use an automatic uh, stapler or um, how you call it, it works in batteries or you can plug it in. So I can't hand press each and individual, um, how do you say that, uh, scrunchie to staple the tag on, which would just destroy my hands really. Um, yeah, so I can definitely recommend the automatic staplers. It's made by Repesco which I got from Amazon.
later. I thought I didn't have a market this weekend, but I do. It is actually quite a big one. It's about ten to 20,000 people coming. So I am in a the craft hall, um, but it's still part of the event. It's the Trinity Fair in Rayleigh. So yeah, I did not get an outside spot this time, just an inside spot. So I just have one table to set up. Um, so I need to have a little look because I've got a lot of stuff I'm bringing though I'm not bringing my hair clothes so that does save some space um, yeah so I might practice a setup as well this video just so I know what I'm doing I think I've got it figured out so I can still bring most of my items um, a lot laid out I also just um, finished cutting some of my scrunchies so these little minis have been sold out again so I needed to make some more I really don't enjoy making them though because they're quite hard to turn on the burrito method but yeah I've got those and I've got all these new Excel uh, ones the patterns in Fisco's I have a few satins so they're quite a thick but um, drapey kind of satin took me a long time to find good satins because I did try before and they started to rip and um, because it was just too thin too cheap but I finally found a good satin so I'm gonna see if I can make those and then I have these as well which are it's, it's like a satin weave but it's made from half polyester and half cotton and they're really soft they've got a little bit of a shine to them but they're also quite like muted yeah, so I've got light blue, light pink, and some like beige. And so I sew those up as well. Yeah, so I'll be doing that. Yesterday I've also cut out some more headbands. Because again, these have been so selling out the light blue ones. They sell out quite quickly. And I have to restock my daisy ones as well. Because that fabric sold out as well. So I need to get some more. So that's what we're doing.
So yesterday I quickly cut some more headbands out for this weekend and I've sewn them together last last night as well. So I sewn them together last night and so I have about 16 sets of hairbands and got my little bits here for the elastic. So what I'm going to do now is um, thread them a bit, little bits of elastic so they look like that. They stretch like that. Which I put in between the headband and then they then I tie it together in a knot. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So I use this um, clover bodkin really recommend these it's nice and flexible so much better than a um what's it called like a, a different like the traditional bodkin i have a few of those as well um, or the other ones like, like a what's it called now on the side. Sold these up. 